everyone this is a video that's going to be quite different from what we usually do on this channel so much so that i really don't know how to film it you can see that i'm struggling right now and i will be struggling throughout the whole video but let's just see how this goes so my alarm was set for 7 a.m but i was so anxious to get this extremely long day started and like just get things going because i had so much to do that i ended up waking up at 5:30 which is not a thing I do. Like I barely wake up before nine. Uh, you can see from my face that my brain is clearly not woken up yet. So I arrived in Miami from Rio the morning before and had to go back to the airport less than 24 hours of leaving. I spent all of my one day in Miami packing and unpacking to take only the things I'll need in New York. I took a total of two big suitcases and a carry-on along with my backpack. This isn't even all of my stuff because I left some bags at my friend's house in Long Island which we'll be picking up right after we land at JFK. Since I had like an extra hour before I had to like actually start getting ready, I just slowly started doing like my routine just to like actually conceptualize the fact that I'm only in Miami for a day and this is me already stealing my family's toothbrush because why buy my own stuff? And yeah, you can clearly see I'm still brain dead, but I'm just making it through thinking about all the things I'm going to have to pick up and then take all the way from Long Island to my dorm and then organize. And actually my move in is in the next day, but then things start getting complicated. So I'm just all that mental load is in me right now and it's overwhelming. Although it may not look like it. I am super excited here because I am finally going to be able to be moving in to this nice Barnard dorm that's outside of the quad, which I have been wanting since the day I stepped into my first year Barnard dorm. And people that know me like know that I've had um, a bad experience in my first year like with my living situation. And so this culmination of just being able to be like, oh. I'm gonna be living in in Barnard dorm that is so close to campus, but it's also an apartment. And I'm gonna be living with five of my best friends. Like, this is the moment I've really been waiting for, for like months. And I look absolutely devastated for some reason. My face never matches my insides. And now we were off to the airport. My parents were being so helpful and my brother also came along because my mom and my brother would be going with me to New York to help me with the stuff once we get there. So they were really helpful and the sky was so pretty so I had to show that off. And my brother was already tired, like 7 a.m dead so this became a really interesting trip as time went on and i'm now going to do a little miami montage because i love my city and it's so pretty Also, no better time than now to say that all the songs that are playing in this video are by my extremely talented sweetmate and her band Chanticleer. I will be linking them in the description because I absolutely love their music and you should totally listen to them on Spotify or whatever streaming services you have because they are so amazing and I am so thankful to Gemma for letting me use her songs because they're so great and I love that I could use them for this video since it is about our home so yeah. What better moment to record a voiceover than the almost minute long clip that my brother made me record of us taking off. So as you could see before, we'd gotten to the airport with like a few minutes to spare. We got the only food we'll be eating until like 5 p.m. Which was just like, I had half a bagel because I shared with my mom and my brother had a bagel. And we would do a lot with just that with us. So it's, um, it's gonna turn out to be a chaotic day. But I have to be speaking because oh, we just took off and we're on our way to JFK.
The flight ended up being really quick, so we were in JFK by the uh, predicted time, and we already had a driver that we like coordinated with waiting for us, and so we ended up leaving by like 1.30, and we were on our way to Long Island. I cannot stress how grateful I am for my friend who offered to let me leave some stuff in New York because I cannot imagine having my puffer coats in Miami. That made no sense and also all the other things that I would eventually need for my dorm again. And yes, I did look at storage, but imagine storage in Manhattan. It was super expensive. And although I am spending money now, like having to do an extra trip up to Long Island, it was very much worth it than paying for like rent for three months and we finally got there at like 2:40 and packed all the things and went straight to the dorms which is right next to the campus i had to film the manhattan skyline from where we were because it was so pretty and the fact that you can see these buildings from so far away like it's insane how big they are and this bridge so pretty Everything is so pretty about New York. It has that rugged kind of like old rustic feel, but I just love it. I love the aesthetic so much. And we were already arriving in Harlem by like 4 p.m. And soon enough, we would be on campus and moving in. I was so excited at this point. I had already changed all my plans. I was going to move in the next day, but I was like, wait, what if they let me move in early? Like, I'll just do it now. And so instead of going back to the hotel and leaving my stuff there, we were like, We've already spent so much time and effort today. Let's just get it all done with. And mind you, we have not eaten. We have not even like walked. We have just been stuck in a car for hours and just picked up the stuff and went back. And I probably was in transportation for like six to seven hours that day. And I hate it. I get motion sickness. So when I tell you I was like sick, I was sick. I could barely like breathe properly, but it was all worth it because Finally getting to my dorm, seeing it and putting my stuff out, I was like re-energized. Like I had so much more energy to just like go and, and finish it off. I ended up staying in my dorm until really late because I was so excited to finally be there and finally be arriving on campus. Barnard campus will never look ugly to me. Like right now it's in its summer beauty and the sun is shining, but I know that this will look pretty in the fall when the leaves are all orange and like decaying but then also in the winter when it's all leafless and then when the snow starts coming in like this campus is so beautiful and it's so underrated i don't know why people never see it i know the first time i visited columbia in 2018 i didn't even get to visit barnard and i was like what the heck like come on i should be able to see barnard so I love my campus and it is so pretty and you can finally see my apartment which yes it is the one with the shake shack i know i know i would stare at that shake shack from my dorm window all the time last year but now i'm finally living in that building and it's progress and i love this building it's so pretty and i love the apartments it's so new york vibes like even the door the door is so cute i love it our people is so new york and i love everything about it and finally getting to my room, my roommate's side was already neat and mine was like a mess. I felt so bad. I had to bring all my stuff and it was all all over the place, but I would settle everything in a bit, even though it's a lot of stuff. Now I have like a little organization montage because of all the effort and all the stuff I had to bring. Like it's actually crazy how much like there was and how much I managed to fit in the closet. I love my walk-in closet. My room is the only one with a walk-in closet, so me and my roommate have our own closets and we have like a middle mirror that's not a closet, so we have three mirrors on our walls. And it's so nice, like I love that part of my room, it makes it look so big and it takes up so much of like space that would take up of our room. So I really love our walk-in closets, it's so nice. And yeah, my mom and my brother were helping me so much with just like finding places for things and I eventually like change it around in the next few days. But I just needed help just getting the bulk of it out of the bags and putting them places. 
And so, like, there's a lot of things that aren't even in, like, the right place, but we just had to do it. And thank you to everyone who helped me putting on, like, it's not the fitted sheet, but it's, like, this, like, cover that goes over my mattress topper and, like, puts the mattress and the mattress topper inside of it. We had to zip it up. Thank you so much to Rebecca, Luca, and Sandra. Thank you so much. You guys helped me. It took forever. Here it's, like, really fast, but it took, like, 20 minutes to put this on, and I'm so thankful for everyone. Like, this was team effort. Like, I could not have done any of this alone. Only, like, the final, like, touch-ups. But this is, this is crazy. Like, I needed so much help through this whole process. So, the next day, I had come back from the hotel because I stayed over with my family just for the night. And we eventually, walking around the area, went to some, like, flea markets. And also to Trader Joe's to actually fill up the fridge because I need food. My classes start literally like two days after this was filmed, so like I wouldn't have much time. And I basically just continue organizing my room and I say hi to a few of my sweet mates who are also moving in. And it's just all good vibes and all like oh, everything is moving along and everything looks great. Basically just spend like more of the day just organizing and putting things in place. Now, I want to take a moment just to appreciate Rebecca's vlogging skills and how she was showing my room around when I wasn't even there, trying to keep my dad included because he was the only one that couldn't come, and I don't know, just showing off the lovely progress that we made because it was a lot of effort. So good for her for being a vlogger. I was failing at it. She was succeeding. And yeah, I just spent the rest of the day putting things away, and I eventually slept over in my new home, and I loved it. And I really hope that this video was like insightful for like the whole process and what it kind of feels like to be moving into a Barnard dorm. Stay tuned for a finished Barnard apartment tour because I know that it's going to look amazing and I really can't wait to show you the rest of the apartment. So yeah, stay tuned for more and see you in the next video.